Hi, my name is Dr. John Thompson. I'm president and founder of Extract Lab. Today, we're going to be talking about Hemp Processing Equipment 101. On the first slide here, you can see these are all of our equipment brands. We've made them specifically tailored to hemp processing and hemp extraction. And we put together full solutions for people who want to get into the business. So let's get started. Here's a chart that shows pre-processing, extraction, post-processing, and end products. And it kind of shows you the path that hemp takes as it's being made into vapors and wholesale crude oils and, and other products like that. Each of these process steps are more or less independent controlled. It gives you a lot of flexibility. A lot of people want to try to integrate everything into like a, a full step and you really lose a lot of the flexibility that you have with uh, different processes. The only thing with having independent processes are they, they all have to be controlled and you want to just make sure that there's not a lot of inventory building up between those processes. So that's the main thing. Today I'm going to be going through some of the equipment for processing hemp into oils. We're going to start off with some extraction equipment. We're going to go into some of the filtration equipment that we offer. Then we're going to go talk about the distillation equipment and the solvent removal equipment. And that'll kind of wrap things up. There are other pieces of equipment that you need. Those are uh, what we call third-party equipment. We have relationships with various vendors on those pieces of equipment. We offer them to you in a turnkey package, our equipment and their equipment, and then we'll put it together, we'll commission, we'll train you on those pieces of equipment with processes and procedures. So the equipment is only obviously one portion of a hemp processing facility. Starting out, here's one of our products that's kind of in the very, very front end. This is meant to aid farmers and people who are dealing with actual hemp material, taking the buds off of the sticks and stems, the plant stems, so that they can be processed independently. A lot of people like to maintain the fiber and they like to maintain the stalks and stems in a different value stream than the flower. The flower is more uh, valuable actually and so and also there's CBD primarily in the flower uh, as compared to the sticks and stems and the roots and stuff like that. So it's very important that you're able to what they call uh, shuck and buck those you know, flowers off the stems. That's what this machine does. It's a high throughput machine. It removes the flowers from the stock. You can do about 360 plants per hour with it. You can really go through a lot of acreage with this particular machine. The second machine that we're gonna be talking about is a supercritical CO2 extraction machine. We use supercritical CO2 and we build them. The reason we use it is because it's the lowest cost method of producing oils, period. A lot of people have different arguments for why one would be used over another, but it's pretty hard to argue CO2 is four cents a pound and current price right now, food grade ethanol is about $33 a gallon. So it's really a very, very low cost method. Um, and if you have any questions on that, you can go to some of our other uh, YouTube videos that we have that really compare and contrast CO2 and ethanol and the cost of ethanol. And there's a whole bunch of different episodes that we have there on that, so we would encourage you to go find those resources. Just suffice it to say, for the purposes of this presentation, we have the supercritical CO2 extraction machines. What happens is the hemp, you put them into the vessels, the CO2 flows over the hemp and uh, dissolves, for example, the cannabinoids, it dissolves you know, some of the terpenes in there. It'll also dissolve some of the fats and waxes, and then it ends up depositing those in one of those these three vessels that you see on the right-hand side of the piece of equipment. The machine can be pretty pricey depending on the size of the machine, but you, they're starter models starting at 150 and they go all the way up to $850,000. So, and there's actually ones that are even more expensive than that. Yeah, so that is a super critical CO2. This is a picture of basically a piece of equipment that we make called the drain droid. You can see we have several of them lined up there in a row. That typically filters the waxes out of the crude oil and it does it through a process called winterization. Winterization is when you take the oil and you dissolve it in some ethanol, you cool it down quickly. The oils typically will crash out and then you use a filter system like this to filter out all the waxes. It's a common process in uh, hemp and also in cannabis processing, uh, say a marijuana process. And what these filters allow you to do a very high throughput way of, of removing the, the waxes so you don't have to wait so long to um, get your waxes out. Once you have that winterized material, it's typically an ethanol 
and you need to remove that ethanol. And that's what this piece of equipment does. It's called the Fractron. And basically what's awesome about this machine is that it's a C1D2 compliant machine. You can basically install it anywhere in a, in a ethanol extraction facility or in a CO2 extraction facility. It's a continuous flow uh, falling film evaporator. And what's awesome about that is it has three different modules that are independently controlled, three different evaporators. You can see there's one um, right here, right here, right here. You also have three different independent condensers. In this instance, they're all plumbed together, but you can actually deplumb them and actually do a fractional distillation, a three, three phase fractional distillation where you can hold this at 70 degrees, hold this at 120 degrees, hold this at 180 degrees. So there's a lot of flexibility here. The other thing is it's continuous. There's no batching. So you don't do one cycle, take the oil, do another cycle, and then do another cycle and then it's ready. You actually put the fluids in here. They come up here. The, this is one cycle. This is two cycles. This is three cycles. And then here's the ethanol reservoir. So um, it's a continuous system and there's no batching that goes on here. The other, that's, the other thing that's really cool about it is that it has all the tracking mechanisms, all the GMP tracking mechanisms that you run the methods on this, you track your methods, everything's printed out, control access according to CFR 21 part 11. The other thing that's really awesome about it is that it has an inert counterflow current gas and that is so that it's really preventing any type of you know flammables or explosions from happening inside the equipment. It's just basically if it leaks, it's gonna be leaking CO2. So that's our big advantage. Here's a clear still, and you can see that we're making this nice, beautiful oil on the right-hand side. This is called distillate. So you would get the winterized oil that ethanol has been removed from. You'd get that, and then you would have distillate. It would make that into the beautiful distillate. This machine right here is called a wiped film evaporator, and it's the machine that makes it look that way. The winterized oil comes in to the uh, reservoir in the middle, and the Fractron and the clear steel can be put together into a single unit. And this reservoir feeds this first wiped film evaporator right here. And with that wiped film evaporator, the, the exit to that can go into a second to do second pass wiped film evaporation. There's also an option for this. You don't have to have it plumb this way. You can plumb it where that this reservoir here feeds both. So really it's up to the customer as to how they'd like to run their system. Again, we have, you know, barcode readers, we have barcode printers, we have touchscreen access, uh, methods driven, GMP compliant, data systems, data logging, all going on here uh, with batch tracing and everything associated with this piece of equipment. So it's gonna be compliant for your GMP facility. We also offer a piece of equipment called the Pier 99. And what this equipment does is it separates out the THC from the CBD. Um, it doesn't do it with heavy chemicals. So what's nice about that is it, it uses some particles basically to do the separation. And basically you have to have some ancillary equipment. In other words, you have to know how to use an HPLC to, in order to use this piece of equipment. But once you get that, we'll sell that to you and we'll train you on it. But the Pier 99 is really a, a very useful machine. You can do a tremendous amount of throughput with it. Um, so if you have any questions about that, you can contact us, our sales team, and they'll get you up to speed on that. We also sell a piece of equipment and software called the IGW Lab. Basically, when you move material through your process, you're creating and generating information. And you also are taking records with each step. And there are certain records that you have to have, like who was using it, where did they get it from, you know, what the date of receiving was, what was the original batch. For example, is the piece of equipment that I'm using, has it been calibrated? Has it been cleaned? When was it last cleaned? Is the, for example, is the, the actual operator, have they been trained? So all of that quality information is really kept in what's called the IGW lab along with a couple other things. Laboratory information, that'd be samples, all your batch information for all your formulations, and your manufacturing execution. So what IGW Lab is, is basically three different systems put together. Your quality management system, or basically all your SOPs are in there, dock control, your manufacturing execution system, it tells the operator 
do this, do this, do this, do this. It also times them. And then the third thing would be a mini limb system. And what a limb system is, is it's a laboratory information system. It basically helps you track all of the samples coming out of your facility and it helps you track all the analytical results so that they can be attached to the batch record. So that's what IGW Lab is. Really kind of puts it all together. Here's an example of just a, a facility. We build these facilities all over the United States. Man, this is a five ton per day CGMP production facility. It, it, it's basically a CO2 facility. And you guys can come and tour this, look us up on the web. This is an example of either a one ton or a two ton per day facility. If you have what we call the 140s, you need six 140s to do one ton per day. If you have a 180, you only need three 180s to do one ton per day. And this would be an example of that. This is 800 square feet. You know, it looks like it's basically 450 amps. It's a one ton per day. And then we have CO2 distributed around here that you probably only need one of these CO2 banks here to run all of those machines. And these things don't, you don't need so many CO2, but you do need these. You only need one of these CO2 cages to run this entire bank of equipment, but you do need to have these chillers. Sometimes we centralize the chillers. So get in touch with us if you wanna have a scaled up version. Sometimes we can put the chiller, for example, on the roof or outside and uh, really engineer your CO2 system also so that it is, it's pretty much turnkey for you. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, we have many resources available for you to get your hemp operation up and running. Calculators, advanced extraction guides, distillation guides, CBD jam sessions. We have just lots of content. Uh, links to which are in the description below as well as the cards up above. Uh, I'd like to hear from you. Uh, what was your favorite part of the video? If you would let me know, in the comments below, I'd be really appreciative of it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. This has been Dr. John with Extract Lab. Thank you and have a great day.